Hello everyone and welcome to challenge number two. I'm your host Clady. I'm here with you all this week of daily creative challenges and I can see so many lovely people in the chat. Um, I can see here, as soon as from here is this with us, nice to see you here. I also see Kobe um, and I probably need to move my chat a little bit uh, on the side because I was there a second ago chatting with all of you, but now it disappeared. I'm going to try to uh, launch it again on my other screen because I really want to make sure that I say hi to everyone. And yes, it's loading. Finally, I can see Alberto. What's up? I missed you, man. I'm glad I <laughs> refreshed right when your name was there so I can say what's up. And also Steve, buon pomeriggio. Your Italian lesson I'm going so much better. Laura, uh, hi again. Nice to see you. Stacy, Susa, so nice to see you. Ruben. Dominica, also very happy to see you again. Matthias, Miss, Mrs. Wright, Wade, Angie, so, so many lovely familiar faces. Cindy, and for those of you who have not uh, been here before, let me tell you a little bit about what we're doing here. I can see, and I had some messages regarding people that they were joining the Daily Creative Challenge for the first time. Don't worry, today's challenge number two, but you can start from today. This is a safe space where you can sharpen your skills and learn new techniques in Illustrator. But let me tell you how to join and how to participate to these challenges with me. First thing to do is to go into our fantabulous landing page, and I'm gonna click on my screen, to share with you the link and I'm also gonna zoom in here so you'll be able to see the link yourself and one of the most important thing here is that you can click on the big blue button in order to um, get the, to join the challenge and get email with the daily challenges and as you can see by scrolling down and I'm gonna do that in a second you'll be able to unlock your challenges so today is challenge number two talk with type we'll learn how to modify type because you probably know the saying that a picture speaks a thousand words but what if we make a pictures out of word how many thousand times we're gonna be able to communicate <laughs> besides any joke I think it's very nice to uh, be able to create a, a nice um, image with type that convey the same meaning that the words say so uh, if you click on get started you'll be able to see some example because you're like probably like what is she talking so if you click on get started, you'll be able to open um, the Dropbox links, which I provided for you, which contains both a mood board and also the Illustrator file. Make sure to download them so you can follow along with me and we can have fun together doing this challenge number two. And as you can see, this is the mood board is of inspiration. So I just uh, look through Pinterest, look through, uh, through uh, Behance, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Um, so, you know, I love this one with the light. Let me know which one is your favorite. This one has got a little bowl in the O because, you know, it, of course it's a bowl. And then waves is all like, you know, like the waves of the sea and paint. How cool is that? How clever is that? Broken, of course, is all cracked and volume we have this little one going up but before we dive in i'm already you know i, I really enjoy this as you can tell before we dive in let me go back in the landing page make sure to download these files in the meantime because i also want to show you how to join the community chat the community chat of course is discord you can do that by clicking here on community chat under the big blue button or you also have a link up here so is bit dot L Y A I Discord. So this one over here, it's an I, it's not an L, of course, for Adobe Illustrator. So make sure that you do um, go here and click on this link. More, more than click is type this link. I'm sure you're gonna find that also in the chat because you're gonna be transported into that fantastic world of Discord. This is the place where, and let me just go back to the right channel. This is the place where you can share your work. I've seen so many amazing work as I wrote there on Discord. You guys blew my mind. I absolutely love what you've done for with challenge number one. And for those of you who have missed challenge number one, don't worry. You can always catch up and watch the replay from the landing page. So under the get started video, you will always be able to watch this video again in order to maybe catch shop during the weekend or whenever you prefer in your own time. The place where you will have to share your work in order to get feedback from me and from the other lovely mentor here. We have Colby, he's probably already given some feedback <laughs> about yesterday. Uh, we have Andrew, which is also live. Nice to see you, Andrew. Um, 
Kathleen, Maddy, Rocky, Jack, so many amazing aspiring um, streamer are there uh, to share information with you, but also all of you here in the chat. And right now we have over a thousand people in the server. All you have to do is click here on the challenge tab. I'm gonna zoom in for everyone to see. So it's under feedback is the very first uh, tab here. And all you have to do is click on plus and share your image. Uh, usually try to get some times at the end. So let's move on and jump into the work. So I'll show you how to share for those of you who don't see it. But as you can see, there are so many fantastic uh, artwork from yesterday. I absolutely love it. So let's go back in um, Behance. And actually before, before we move on, I also wanted to mention that there is a new curated gallery. So if you head to Behance.net, oops, not this one, behance.net slash galleries slash challenges, you'll be able to see selected curated work uh, handpicked by the Adobe Live team. And also I keep my eyes peeled on your work. So make sure to submit and tag your work with AI daily challenge. Of course, we're going to go over that towards the end of the stream when I will share you, show you how to share your work on Behance. So remember, Discord is to get feedback, chat with the community and get, you know, the possibility to hang out with professional students and other fellow designers from all over the world and, you know, chat about design and of course, share your work and ask questions. But also um, Behance is there in order to get discovered and why not show your work in the gallery. So I hope that everyone has already downloaded the work. Let me see if there is anything in the chat. Steve uh, is still reading from Jason's stream. Uh, it was an amazing stream. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, also, Carol Perel joined us. Thank you so much for joining us. Alberto sharing some love. Very happy to have you here. We have Pia. Uh, we have Michael. Michelle in the house. Hi, Michelle. I was like, where's Michelle gone? <laughs> nice to see you here. Uh, I love to see familiar faces during all this lockdown. You really, really kept me company. I'm here by myself in Manchester, as you probably know already. So it's fantastic to be able to share this time with you. I can see Catherine and Wade and Ratmani, Keith, Nick. I'm so sorry if I pronounce any of the name wrong. Munir, nice to see you. It's been a while. Fantastic. So I'm just um, I'm just like scrolling real quick if to see if there is any uh, question. Keith, just watch yesterday. Fantastic. So you're ready, ready to um, catch up on that. Perfect. Looks like there is no question. Wade has been lovely as usual, sharing all the uh, useful link. Thank you so much, Wade. And uh, we're ready to go. Oksana also is in. Fantastic. Let's open Illustrator and let's dive in into the stream. Very briefly, for those of you who have just joined the stream, remember behance.net slash challenge slash illustrator to uh, get started and download the link in order to work along with me or use them in your own time. But here we go. So as we say today, we were uh, talking about how to talk with type and those examples are fantastic. Again, let me know in the chat which one is your favorite. I absolutely um, love it. So again, I think my favorite is light because I think it's the most clever one using the little ball of the eye almost as if there's um, the light. And I'm actually going to jump on the other side of the screen. Wait a second. I'm just going to go to whoop. <laughs> jump on the other side of the screen so you'll be able to see a little bit better all the tools that I'm going to be using on both sides of the screen. Fantastic. So here we have uh, uh, even this hide is so cool. Bullying? How cool is that? I mean, this is the, the, the great thing of being graphic designer. That's and you know, I'm going to provide some word for you to use, but also today challenge is also for you to uh, come come up with your own word. I leave this brief completely open. I will show you a few techniques and most importantly, which tool to use. But let's get let's get going to that. Yeah, paint is very clever as well. Absolutely. Absolutely lovely. So the word that I selected today are uh, melt and love. <laughs> melt because today was a very extremely hot day in Manchester so I don't know if you can see but I got this cheek which is the one that is exposed to my window that is super hot so it was melting and I thought that's a good word to use and love because everyone needs some love so let's get started uh, first of all when I click uh, we click on our type tool 
we have some placeholder text and uh, uh, you can select whatever font you want directly from our properties panel under character but you know for this kind of stuff when we're gonna modify text we really want some really clean typeface um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click under here um, and what I want to do is to find more. So as, the, as if I believe it's uh, 2019 or 2020, hopefully, hopefully someone can correct me, feature, we'll be able to use Adobe font directly within Illustrator. Otherwise, if you perhaps decide to use Adobe font in the normal classic way, and that's what you enjoy doing, you can always go on a browser and head to fonts.adobe.com and click on browse font and then you can narrow down all the uh, different specification that you want in order to select the font of your choice. I really like the fact that we can activate fonts so why leave Illustrator and we can keep creating and stay focused here in our creativity. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, search a font with some filters. So the filters are here. I'm just gonna zoom in and click and of course I want a sans serif because again, I want a very simple uh, kind of font and then I'm looking for something that has got a regular weight and uh, is quite condensed so we can play with it and we can adapt it better to different shape. Uh, I can see this font here looks abolition, looks quite cool. So all I have to do is click here on the little cloud and as you can see is uh, these little two arrows are telling me that is activating. Now uh, you can pick whatever you want, it's already done. So if I go here into my um, uh, character panel and write the name on the font. Let's see which one it was. Let me zoom out. It's probably not here yet because let me see, let me search it again, find more. Oh, I think I can just find it from here. Yeah, I think it will probably take you to um, reopen Illustrator to find in the main character, but you can just select it from where you download it. So ready to go. So as I say, the first word for today was melt. And the second word is love. Uh, so those are the type kind of typeface that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to have our first work in progress here for the word melt. And then here for the word love here it is oops so once the first thing that i'm going to do is to click on the font and again short short shortcut coming um is a uh, shift command o in order to outline the font and i'm going to zoom in to show you the difference if we press command y and we go in our preview mode you can tell that this is still an editable uh, and uh, editable <laughs> i'm hungry can you tell <laughs> i'm gonna start to eat fonts an editable font but once we're gonna press shift command o we're gonna transform it into a path and as you can see here we see the shape so every letter is now not editable we cannot change the word so what i'm going to do here is to start to distort the font and as you can see i'm pulling it from one of the corner of the bounding box without holding shift because i don't really care about proportion because the whole point is to distort and i'm going to try to make it a fat that is all like wobbling and it's kind of like dripping down and melting uh, not more like a liquid it's just kind of you know a little bit of wave and when i was thinking of uh, what melting is is more about the heat so you know when you look at the radiator then you got all these little waves coming up so that's what i'm trying um uh, to do i can see a question there from pia um uh to red ipsum I think I think you guys are having your own jokes and I miss them. But let me know if there is a question. Uh, I thought it was something with the lorem ipsum. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, fantastic. I'm gonna keep going. But do let me know just in case I missed the question. Feel free to type that again. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, squeeze this font a little bit, and I'm not too happy about how chunky the top and the bottom are. So I can press A in order to jump in my direct selection tool, which is our lovely white arrow. I'm gonna click and select select um, this top a point anchor point of the E and I'm gonna do the same with the bottom and I'm gonna do the same here you don't have to do this again completely up to you um, remember that usually when you distort font certain uh, variation happen that you might not like so for example I didn't like them uh, getting so big so I'm just using this anchor point to modify them you can do as much as you want uh, for example also these little stems here on the side of the M I will have them a little bit bold because it looks like they went a little bit too thin. Oops, a little bit too much here. 
okay I'm happy with this so I'm gonna click and select my shapes and then go under object and this is the key tool for this kind of transformation and envelope distort now the what we're gonna use today is make with mesh I know you're probably familiar with make with, uh, with warp let me know if you used the mesh um, with the envelope distort yet I'm gonna make a mesh of nine by nine and you can click on preview in order to see what's going on here. So we created so many anchor points. Um, it also works very similar in Photoshop. So you've probably seen this little anchor point there and I'm gonna press okay. So now we have wrapped around our text and we have all these little points in order to move them. So uh, by clicking on A, we can select again our direct selection tool and I'm gonna start to click and drag in order to select this first row of point. And I'm gonna zoom in because I just seen on my screen that it looks very small. So hopefully that will be a little bit more of help. So don't worry, they remain live. They will only, um, you know, go away when we expand the text. And I cannot believe the time. I really need to show you both of those. So all I've done is click shift and press the arrow key in order to give the first wave. Then I'm gonna uh, leave one row alone and then I'm keep going with the other one and we're starting to get the wobbling effect then perhaps we can also elongate some of those so i'm going to make it even way longer so it's really melting down and uh tilted down a little bit something like that and i'm going to add another wave over here i recommend to use the wave in the same direction because otherwise it looks a little bit messy but again up to you i look forward to see what you're going to be doing on discord Perfect. So now if we want to change the color and go back and treat this image as a shape, I'm going to go into object with the shape selected and click on expand. And we're going to expand the object and the fill and we're going to press OK. And as you can see now, this is an editable object and we can perhaps um, use a gradient. I think I used uh, one of the uh, freeform gradient here uh, make sure to ungroup with shift command G we're gonna ungroup it a few times and we can treat every letter as a single letter so click on the gradient tool go back into our properties panel zoom in here freeform gradient is the third icon on the right and this will allow us to create different point so double click in order to change the color of the point I'm gonna give it this little um variation of hot and cold and then all you can do is to select the other letter and press uh, the little i on your keyboard in order to get the eyedropper tool and you get different effect you can always change it by clicking on the letter and again edit gradients here under the property panels where is the gradient uh, tab there edit gradient and if you zoom out you will see that you'll be able to add more points so for example we have a white point here and we can double click and add another orange point here and so on so perhaps we'll do the same with the m and actually i'm gonna leave that to finish off for you all i'm gonna do here is to place a dark uh, background with our rectangle tool just so you can see that there is um, uh, the, the white press command shift curly bracket to bring it uh, behind so we can see the white now real quick I probably got three minutes to do this let's do it I'm gonna click on our shape to rectangle tool and click and drag to create a first rectangle and of course when we think about love we think about heart so I'm gonna create a very quick heart in Illustrator and I'm gonna click on this little white little corner dots with our direct selection tool and pull them in now make sure that all of those are selected otherwise as you can see what happened to me will happen to you so only one changes well we want to select all of them and you can do that by using uh, the normal selection tool which is um, the our black arrow and I'm gonna click and rotate that by holding shift and then I'm gonna press command F to duplicate copy and paste in place and um, create an opposite rotation here by holding shift then I'm gonna make those um, closer I'm gonna just drag it by holding shift just to make sure that we keep the same height and click and drag in order to select both shape and then I'm gonna use the shape builder tool here on your left on our toolbar in order to create this little heart shape here it is and then by pressing option we have a little minus that will allow us to subtract the shape that we don't want so we got the word love we got our heart you can um, squeeze it and modify it the way that you want and uh, I'm going to place it on top of the word love now make sure that you click and 
drag by pressing Option or Alt on Windows in order to create a copy, and our Shift Command O lovely shortcut in order to um, have an outline version of the word. I'm gonna bring it here just behind our heart and I'm gonna select both those shape. Going back into Object Envelope Distort, we're gonna make an envelope dis distort with top object and as you can see we have the word love enclosed into our little heart um, now i don't know if i can do this as well i've done one before just starting the stream because i thought it was very very fun and uh it was the word boom and i was thinking about some explosion or something like that and you can use the start tool if you click and drag you'll be able to um use the top and the bottom keys in order to create more spikes now i'm not sure this is going to work well you're probably going to have to do some edits i transformed it again freely without keeping proportion and i place it on top of my text let's make sure that our text is outlined first so we can treat it as a shape select them both go to object and um, envelope distort make with top object and here it is <laughs> so i thought that that was so cool i'm gonna go back and show you my previous trial i just think that you know i just thought that it was very very fun and it was worth sharing so you can have uh, your take you can think of other words and you can have as much fun as you want also i think that those are great pieces to share also on your instagram uh, remember all you have to do in order to share it on your instagram is to create an artboard here that is uh, 180 by 180 pixel because so 1080 pixel uh, by 1080 and that's the correct size for your instagram so all you have to do is to place your image here and then option command e to export it and you'll be able to use it for your uh, personal uh, sharing as well now before we say goodbye i got two minutes i wanted to also share with you the sizes for the project for our behance you can find them on um, a help.behance.net guide for formatting images and uh, the length the height of the image really doesn't matter is infinite so you can do as long as you want but the width is a thousand and four hundred pixel but don't worry our last stream this friday is about how to create a curated project so if you head perhaps on my project here you can see that i created some um, fun projects so they are all night this one has a gif as well so it's got some moving images but i will teach you how to put together all these images so your project will look all nice and put together all neat and hopefully we will have them featured onto our fantastic gallery it's almost time to say goodbye um perhaps i'm just gonna show for those of you who don't know how to upload uh the work make sure that if you have not done so you can create a new project I already created one yesterday if you want to know how make sure to watch yesterday's stream so i'm gonna go ahead and click on this little gear and click on edit in order to edit this project and as we discovered yesterday uh our lovely uh behance also has a new uh, fantastic look so it works differently i find that I, I enjoy it very very much and um i think i didn't save the image but i just want to show you how can you add a new image very simple as you can see here on the right it says add content i'm gonna zoom in and all you have to do is to click image and select the folder the destination that you pick i'm just gonna pick one of those that i have here i'm just gonna use a gradient now make sure they use the correct one because i'll be checking and remember you will have the chance to be featured on that behance channel challenge gallery so i'm gonna watch your um work there now in order to be featured all you have to do is to create uh in your setting this project tags which is ai daily creative challenge i think i misspell it there make sure to write it right ai uh, daily challenge i think it's almost time to go i've never been cut out before let's see if i can squeeze the schedule real quick just the people after me um we have Adobe XD workflow and pro tips with Jessica Moon and Tal Tallinn, Adobe XD daily creative challenge with Aaron Pinsky and doodle therapy with Ad Alice Lee. Another fantastic day here at Adobe Live. Thank you so much for being with me. I always love my time here with you and I'll see you tomorrow and of course on Discord. Bye everyone. Thank you so much for joining me.